Christ, mercy, love. Arena Solution and Power. My name is Mrs. Comfort Namani Tsung. Beside me is my husband. Beside him is his colleagues, family, and friends. I'm a worker here in Christ, mercy, and precisely a tour guard. So it all started on the 2nd of February, two days to my birthday. So I was in the office. I was feeling feverish. So I was like, what is the issue? I couldn't eat, so I just took permission from my colleagues that I want to go home to like rest. I don't know what is happening. So when I went back home, I called my husband and now told him that, ah, baby, I don't know how I'm feeling. He was like, okay, it should be malaria or, he said it should be malaria or typhoid. So he treated, because he's a medical personnel, so he treated me of malaria and typhoid, but the symptom persisted. So he was like, no, this is not just ordinary. So we now went to the hospital. So going to the hospital, they were like a lot, they gave me drip, a lot of things going on. No, in fact, the more they gave me medications, the more I'm going down. I couldn't walk anymore. I couldn't eat. I urinate on the bed. I wear pampas. I was going. I was like, what is this? So I now told my husband that, no, this is spiritual attack. He was like, no, the doctors will do their best. I said, no, take me to Mercy City. He was like, let's see what will happen. If there's no improvement, I will take you down to your father. That was what he told me. So that night, I had a dream. We had Prophet Jeremiah. There was a crowd. So the protocols, they were trying to stop him. He was, he was on his convoy. So he just, I don't know, he had a voice. So he just stopped. Just like that, as if it was a crusade. So he just stopped. When he stopped, he was looking for me. Why he was looking for me, I was looking for him as well. He was looking for me. I was looking for him. So the moment he was able to see me, he just gave me two polo. And the moment he gave me the two polo, I woke up. So the next morning, the doctor now came and said, I can't make it anymore. That either... The you doctor told you, sir, he says, yeah. I will not be able to make it. The doctor it. said, you cannot make, make it. it. That yeah. means you will die. Yes. So the doctor said that there's no hope anymore. That either they fly me to India, but the chances are 50-50. While I was in the hospital, I couldn't eat. I was always taking water of life. Water of life. That was the only thing I was taking. Water of life. So immediately, when my husband stepped out, when I told him that I'm tired of this hospital, please take me to Christ's mercy land. So when he went outside to pick a cup, so the doctor now came to my ear and whispered to me and now told me, that place you are going to can never help you. The doctor came and told her, he came to her and he said, where you are going, it will not help you. You have gone. So I now told him, doctor, you are a liar. I must come back and testify. That's what I told him. Because I have a father. So when my husband came back, I now told him, he now said, let's go. Your father is waiting for you. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. My name is Emma Isong, Life Aid Doctors, Lagos. This is my wife. Yes. Miss Comfort. Uh -huh. This is my boss. Yoga. Doctor. <laughs> doctor. He's a doctor again. Mm. Dr. Tony Obo is actually the CEO of Life Aid Doctors. This is Dr. Alabi Richard. Doctor! This is the chief matron. Also a doctor. Life She's a doctor! doctor. This is Dr. Idolo. This is my landlord oh. who saw everything huh? that happened. Yes. This is the wife. His wife. Yes. And this is the legal advisor, Life Aid Doctors. Since the miracle came up, I normally tax this testimony that the God of Jeremiah has shocked me. Doctors we treat, but God cure. It all started as a malaria, 
and then the typhoid that it was I was like looking at uh, because ordinary I don't think anything serious could happen either stress or maybe just malaria because she has been exposed or anything but after the treatment of malaria the typhoid we discovered that uh, she couldn't come up at least it's supposed to be up within uh, uh, three to four or five days but unfortunately she was going down she was deteriorating day by day i so i try all i could i have to order the hospital to further check some uh, something internally so they conducted urinalysis they conducted some other tests that um, will prove, uh, let's check what is actually wrong with the inside, the internal body. So at the end of the day, we discovered that uh, the two of our kidneys were filled up and they were totally destroyed. The two kidneys? Yes. Mama, Papa, listen, two kidneys means that is your life. We have kidney failure and we have kidney, what is called, totally dead. Kidney failure, you can, you can manage small, small do. But dead, this is destroyed. It is finished. So before this, we, oh. my wife couldn't talk, couldn't eat for over two weeks. Uh, the skin color turned to yellow. The two legs were paralyzed, couldn't walk. And then the, the upper and the lower jaw, they joined together. He couldn't open her mouth any longer. And then he, she has what they call urinary incontinence. The urine and the feces, they were just going out in parallel at the same time. So the bladder couldn't control the urine. So she was just excreting almost everything in her body to the point that it was excreting fat. Just the urine was just going like that. And so we had no choice than to use uh, adult pampas just to see how we can manage the situation. Adult pampas. So the tummy was swollen. Swollen? Very, very big. Meaning that uh, the, 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 the bladder has been filled up and then, you know, the, the kidney couldn't do its work any longer. And so everything in our body, both the physiological aspect of our body and the internal, we actually not what, it wasn't normal any longer. And I saw my wife, I watched my wife going gradually. And she was actually waving me and was smiling. And was telling me she loves me. She was? So she loves me. She loves yeah. you. So that means it's gone. At this point, she was like, it dragged me to her mouth. She was whispering, telling me that the dream she's having, she's under judgment. So, under what? Judgment. Judgment. So he saw some group of people wearing black sutan, black garments, and red. They were talking to her, telling her a lot of things. So I know too well these are, should I say, the symptoms of uh, something not going normal. Actually, she was going, she was going. My wife, in fact, we couldn't help. She was, everything just happened so fast. Within seconds, this one will happen, this one will happen, this one. In just one minute, we can discover a lot of things. So we couldn't control as human. So we had about six doctors gathering my wife up. How many doctors? About six doctors. Because the medical doctor, another medical doctor gathered the woman. Doctors don't allow their wife to die. So we now call other doctors. So now six of them gathered her. Go ahead. And then we had another doctor from Washington, D.C. Where? Washington, D.C. That is USA. Okay. And then another one from India, an 80s doctor. Listen, no, listen to where he's calling. This is a medical doctor from Washington, D.C. And this, that is uh, USA, America. Then another one from India. So these are doctors I actually contacted online uh, for them to also support us with ideas and what we can do. They were all specialists. Uh, so, but they couldn't help. So they told me, well, uh, there's nothing we can do about it at this point. It's either we commence dialysis or why you prepare your way to take your wife to India. And uh, so that there's no option. And the way it even is 
not that when we comment this dialysis that is going to bring any solution, it's just to like manage her. It's just to manage her maybe till the point she will die, just like somebody that is suffering from cancer, just to manage the pain so that by the time she will finally go. But before this, she has been telling me, take me to the church, take me to the, if I take you to the church, in the church, what would the church do for you? I, this is the, you know. Medical, some of the medical doctors. <laughs> Before this, when, when the doctor left, uh, like today, that night, my wife gave up. She died. Let me use that. Mm. And then I used the water of life. You used the water of life? Yes. And then forced. She was lifeless. Yes. I forced her mouth. Open it with spoon, and then I was able to pour the water of life inside. Inside the water of life. Power. Power. Some of the power. power. When I forced her mouth, and then pour the the liquid inside her mouth, and then close, I was just washing her. You are just washing her. Uh, so After giving her the water of life. She has been saying so much about water of life. Let me see what will happen. Okay. And so I was just holding my hand. <laughs> She has been saying too much about this water. As already she's gone. Let me see this water of life has done. And so... It uh, will Yes? It wasn't up to, uh, let's say 10 to 15 minutes. I saw something happening. Mm. Mm. Power. 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 Oh my God. So suddenly she began to pull her legs. She dropped her leg. Pull her legs she to her herself, legs. and then turn, and then open her two eyes, and then she said, "Baby, how are you doing?" Oh! <laughs> What your, your your friends or your colleagues have told you about the the situation? The medical doctor from America and India. They told you anything about? Yes. They said nothing can be done. Nothing can be done apart from starting, we should start dialysis. Then preparing her to go to India. And then my, my, my dear brothers and sisters, the least amount that you can use for kidney transplants abroad is between 6 to 10 million naira. And it's not even a guarantee that when... when it's not, get... Even now, it's not guarantee. It's not guarantee. Yes. Not that you transplanted that it is over. No, that was something can happen. Eh? Yes. He rushed her down to the church, and then I was able to communicate, and uh, the church did a very wonderful work. I was just watching. I was crying. I was weeping. I was so weak. And so before I know, they arranged her, and then put her on stretcher, prayer line, and then I was just watching to see something happening. <laughs> the event that any area from that kidney, the tubes, that bladder, if there is any issue along that point, then you know there is something going on. Now, if you still extend that bladder down, there is what they call the urethra, from where the urine will eventually pass out. So along this tract, from that urethra, the bladder, those tubes, the kidneys, is the urinary tract. So which means an infection, anything can happen along this tract and the person has issues. So if, for instance, it happens over time, it's not managed early, the person can have issues with any of them, ultimately a kidney failure or a kidney disease or anything. It could be from drugs, it could be from anything. But once this becomes bad, then it's a... Okay, let's see what happened.
After that very day, I we went back to another hospital. As a prophet directs, my father prophet. said, "Don't go back to that hospital." Mm -hmm. And so I took my wife to the to another hospital. When we arrived there, they admitted her. The battle was not like before, and then they commenced treatment. I kept my mouth shut. I didn't want to tell the medical personnel or the nurses what happened. I just said, let me see what will happen. Maybe I did not have the confidence or maybe I wasn't sure. So I now say, okay, that was on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I instructed the hospital that they should carry out another test, precisely the one that will tell me instead what is wrong with the kidney. So the nurse said, okay, no, we have not gotten to that. We are just, I said, no, just go, go ahead, go ahead. They said, okay, no problem. So they collected the sample and then they conducted the test. And then the result came out. I didn't want to look at the result. I said, <laughs> you don't want to look at the result. So when the medical director said I should come to the office, I said, no, I want to buy something. <laughs> I just... <laughs> Another, the doctor that carried out the test now called the doctor. Husband, doctor, come on, come and see your work. Oh, you know the thing. So come and see. He will he now play while you're 419. <laughs> he said, The test you asked me to conduct, the result is ready. I said, Okay, is it ready? He said, yeah, It's okay. I'll let it be in the evening time. He said, Come now, I will not be around. I said, No, you let it be in the evening time. And so, like that, not that very day, the next day, I said, Okay, let me look at the results. So he now said, Look at it. I said, No, just. Read, uh, just read, tell read, me, read. Tell you me read. what is happening. So I was just standing in the office. So I now said, just start from the kidney. So he now said, Oh, you, you said start from the, <laughs> yeah, let the me. main, the main point. Yeah. <laughs> so he now said, look at it now, look at it. There's nothing wrong with the kidney. Somebody! The, the tone of his voice had changed. This was somebody that was crying. He was mm. sounding so excited. Uh -uh. I was like, what is going on? I was like, if you see the experiment, that was the term he used, that was performed on my wife in church. <laughs> experiment? Yes. <laughs> Instead of miracle, he said experiment. No, no, I think he probably said that out of excitement. Okay, excited, okay. Yes, he didn't believe, like, it happened so fast. So fast? Yes, he could not explain. Mm. So, with the tone of his voice, whoa, I already whoa, whoa, whoa. knew there was something good. And he told me, the God of mercy land has done it. I, I, didn't, I didn't have any reason to, I didn't have any reason to doubt because I have witnessed some miracles. But whether we like it or not, sometimes you, you try to think, is this real? But the fact that this is my colleague's wife, <laughs> this is a lady I saw the other time we came and did everything to make us comfortable. I could see the pictures she, he showed me. So this was not arranged. This was not... Arranged? <laughs> this was not Nollywood. It wasn't anything. <laughs> I went on my knees and the only thing I could say was thank, thank you, you Jesus. Jesus. To viewers all over the world, whatever you are watching, Mercy TV, through YouTube, okay. Facebook, okay. any Facebook. social media, you are watching Mercy TV. These are the things that we have been telling you. Right now, it's happening right in Delta State, Nigeria. Nigeria. Worry. Worry. Anytime, any hour, you can Shop see stop. and our informations are also there. You can now call our prayer lines, inquire from them that they will now tell you how to get to worry. They will direct you. Those who cannot come and who are watching me all over the world, there's no distance in prayer. That's why I always carry water and water, water to pray for you people. Look at what the water of life has done. The Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you.